Welcome everybody, it's Jeff from J&K Stay in Vegas, a special Halloween episode. Finding certain celebrity graves here in Las Vegas. There's a few here at the Palm Mortuary here, a little bit on the east side of town here in Vegas. But there's a few other ones that we're going to check out around the valley. But first up, Palm Cemetery here on the east side of Vegas. Let's go check out and see who's here. Famous people here in Vegas. Happy Halloween! Here we are at legendary actor, Tony Curtis, born in 1925. He passed away September 29th, 2010. Tony Curtis is obviously very famously remembered for many movies that he was in, including his role as a female impersonator in Some Like It Hot with Jack Lemmon and Marilyn Monroe. He was also in The Great Imposter, Goodbye Charlie, so many movies. He was formerly married to actress Janet Lee and is the father to actress Kelly and Jamie Lee Curtis. And he was a gifted painter. So yeah, Tony Curtis right here. Here's his uh, spot here. He's got a little gate here. He's got some interesting, I don't know the significance, but there are some rocks placed here. I don't know if people have done that. Somebody can let me know in the comments if they know what that's about. Tony Curtis here on our first stop of famous graves that are located here in Las Vegas. Next up, here on our search of famous celebrity graves here in Las Vegas, Robin Leach. He just passed away a couple of years ago, 2018. Of course, you remember him and his lifestyles of the rich and famous show. There it says there, champagne wishes and caviar dreams. Apparently he moved to the United States in 1963 and started appearing on KABC in Los Angeles with Regis Philbin and Sarah Purcell. He's kind of credited for the whole celebrity focus reality Started the show in 1984 and it would last till 1995. Look at this big guy. How you doing, big guy? That little bird came in. Say hi. Yeah, this beautiful lake out here. It's very peaceful. Jay Sarno, very famous casino hotel man, as it says right there. The greatest hotel man, beloved father and grandfather. Jay Sarno obviously has a lot of Vegas ties, primarily for the one building Caesar's Palace and Circus Circus. A lot of mob ties. But he's definitely the inspiration to tycoons like Steve Wynn and utilizing many of what concepts that Jay Sarno started for casinos and hotels here in Vegas. So Jay Sarno is here as well. Very understated grave. Born July 2nd, 1921 and departed July 21st, 1984. All right, next up is Red Fox. Very much know him from Sanford and Son. He was born in December of 1922 and he passed away in October, 1991. October 11th, so 30 years ago to the day, a little over that. There's some nice little flowers here. But in 1989, Eddie Murphy was producing a new sitcom with Della Reese called The Royal Family. 
and that premiered in September of 91. But on October 11th, 1991, he uh, arrived on the Paramount Studios in LA for rehearsal and suffered a massive heart attack. But he'll best be remembered as Fred Sanford on the Sanford and Sons. One more grave here at the Palm Mortuary here on the east side of Vegas. Let's go check it out. Next celebrities here at the Palm Mortuary. I don't know if uh, you remember this or maybe even your uh, parents, the McGuire sisters. Phyllis and Ruby are buried here. Very popular in the 1950s and 60s. They were actually inducted to the National Broadcasting Hall of Fame in 1994 and in 2001 they were inducted into the Vocal Group Hall of Fame. And then in 2009, they were inducted into the Hit Parade Hall of Fame in 2009. Beautiful place out here. All right guys, so we are off to our next cemetery to see what other graves that we can find that are famous celebrities here in Vegas. Let's go. All right, everyone, so next on the tour here of Gravesites, we are at Bunkers Eden Vale Memorial Park. And one of the most famous people of Las Vegas history is buried right over there. We're gonna go take a look at it. Let's go see who it is. So this is the Chapel of Eternal Peace, which is the mausoleum, and you walk in. And here it is, right off to the left of the front door, Benny Binion. Of course, Benny Binion came here in 1946, he became part owner of the Las Vegas Club for a short time, and then he opened up the Binion's Horseshoe in 1951. He later bought the Mint Hotel next to the Horseshoe, and actually made the Horseshoe Hotel Casino. He was actually the first one to provide limousine service from Las Vegas Airport for high rollers at his hotel. By the way, guys, if you wanna see where this is, this is just down from the Neon Boneyard Museum, just north of downtown. Not the greatest of area, but it's a pretty nice area inside here. So uh, just so you know where this one is located. everyone here we are at our last gravesite of famous celebrities here in Vegas right here Richard old man Harrison of Pawn Stars the old man that was always behind the desk in the Pawn Stars on the History Channel he's laid to rest here this happens to be the Palm Northwest Cemetery this is in the Centennial Hills area of Vegas about 20 25 minutes north of the strip just give you an idea. Specifically, Richard Benjamin Harrison, born March 4th, 1941, passed away three years ago, June 25th, 2018. Beloved husband, father, and grandfather, he lived life to the fullest. Our love goes with you, and our souls wait to join you. Nice little area here. It says together forever, a little bench here. It has a little gate here that is locked actually. You have a Pawn Stars, very funny show that's still on. Always found it funny, he'd, he'd always go, I'd be a player at $5. Great spirit of him. Rest in peace, old man. Well, everyone, that's gonna do it for us here on this little grave tour of Las Vegas of famous celebrities. It's a little Halloween special for you. Again, if you like this video, everybody, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to JNK. Little unusual video, but I think 
you'll find it appropriate for Halloween. So anyway, again, folks, thumbs up, subscribe, turn on those bell notifications, be alerted to every time we post a new video. And we go live all the time, so you're definitely gonna wanna do that. Again, thanks everybody for watching. It's Jeff with J&K Stay in Vegas. Until the next one, bye bye everybody. Bye.